The South China Sea has grown in importance as part of the great power competition. China has built artificial islands and placed military installations on this crucial sea route in East Asia. In response, the United States is obstructing China in various ways so that its control does not fall into China's hands. As a result of the island's development work, most of the neighboring countries have taken a stand against China. This is the greatest achievement of the United States in maintaining control of the region. The United States and its allies, through Japan and Australia, have been assisting in the militarization of neighboring China. In a very short time the Philippines has developed its navy. Indonesia also woke up suddenly. However, it is worth considering how much China's own policy is responsible for Indonesia's awakening. China, however, is reluctant to give up control of the area so easily. China continues to work to improve relations with Indonesia. China understands that almost all of China's important sea lanes pass through Indonesia. In this context, the long-term conflict with Indonesia is suicidal for China. Indonesia also relies heavily on China for its trade. The Philippines has become important for the same reason. Taiwan and Vietnam are also increasing their military capabilities with China in mind. Politically, China is still far from being able to control the policies of these countries. Is China now a communist state, or a capitalist state? The rush to create a billionaire in China suggests that China has strayed from its communist ideology. Not ideological power. Because of this, China has not been able to win over its neighbors. However, China's trade with them is not less. China cannot rely on its neighbors for its security. Above all, he sees the influence of the United States and the West. So China is being forced to take an aggressive role in the whole region to ensure its own security. The development of the island and the deployment of military forces there have made China stand against its neighbors. When important ships of the United States Pacific Fleet became inoperable during the coronavirus infection, the Chinese Navy's aircraft carrier Liaoning sank in the East and South China Seas. Countries that depend on the United States in the region suffer from widespread insecurity. This situation again teaches the countries of the region the importance of increasing their military capabilities. Although the United States deployed its full force in the South China Sea again in July, it has already been proven that no matter how strong the United States is, it is not enough to control the world's seas. The loopholes in U.S. military deployment are now well known. China is increasing its influence by using them.